Welcome back to the channel. I'm just going to give you some random updates today and just kind of talk about what I'm feeling as far as the car goes and different features and whatnot um, if you don't already have one of these yourself. I just want to take one quick minute to thank this company, Elmbrook. They have sponsored this video and I'm also going to be giving a couple of their sunset lamps away. They're pretty cool. My kids like to just keep these on in their rooms, much like LED lights. Uh, you can use them to set the mood in any way because you can change the color. Um, this is actually the front of it. See, Elmbrook is the company. Uh, you can use them for photography, all kinds of different things. These are like a really cool item on the market uh, right now. But if you don't win one from me by commenting Elmbrook below, I'll pick the winner in a couple of days you can also purchase yourself one easily on Amazon I'll put that link below as well so thank you Elmbrook so first off I got a software update today all right pretty simple it just notifies you on the screen there's like this little download button you press it and you get the software update so I love that because it's almost like I get well I do I get new features like every couple weeks or whatever um, and it's like I don't know keeps you fresh you know like if you've been driving a car the same car um, for a while and it doesn't get software updates like this it just kind of gets old and then we get the itch to want to get a new one with new features well it takes away that itch so I'm always getting new features new updates so let me show you the update I got today so this is what happens when you're getting the software update it takes a while <laughs> I don't know 30 minutes or so you can also schedule to do it while you're sleeping at night and the car is just charging or whatever I also have my car connected through my personal hotspot on my phone to make this software update happen. For whatever reason, my car is not connecting to our internet at home. So, because I don't want to figure that out and I can't really figure it out at the moment, I just connected it to my phone's hotspot and it's working just fine and also at the same rate, speed, as it usually does. All right, so when it's done, this is what happens. As you can see, update is complete as of September 23rd, which is today. And if you want to see what the updates are, you just go down to the car, then you go to software, and you go all the way down. And this is where you find the information. And then you can go to release notes. Right here. And then it tells you the most current update here and what's going on. So um, we've got just Tesla profiles and it tells you the differences, what, what they've changed. Blind spot camera can be moved. That's actually pretty cool. I have it moved over now to this right side of the screen. It comes up here. It's just much easier to see visually when you put on your blinker. Uh, disable sentry sounds. Basically what it says is to prevent disturbing neighbors you can now disable the sound made by sentry mode um, and traffic along the route. Shows you it actually along the route. I didn't realize it didn't show that before but whatever. Um, and then driver profile. Um, any navigation recent or favorite will now be saved to that profile. That's pretty cool. Uh, but I'm really the only one that drives this car. My husband, for whatever reason, doesn't ever take it when I ask him if he so wants to. So that is that as far as the new update goes. So it's pretty cool to get those quite often, to be honest with you. Uh, let me show you these new floor mats a company sent me. They're pretty cool looking. They're a pretty seamless fit. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think they'd be great for a, you know, normal climate. Not necessarily our climate here in Maine would be fine in the summertime and whatnot uh, but they're not super duper like rugged um, like my Tasmanian mats for example um, for somebody like in Florida or I don't know anybody that's not really um, in snowy icy salt ground um, mud dirt weather that they're tracking in out of their car very often like I do these would be great uh, live in LA <laughs> I don't know what that's like but I imagine it's just 
pavement and streets and not much like this environment. So as you can see, they're a nice, sleek, pretty look, okay? All right, now we're in the back seat. These are Tesla Shields floor mats as well. But what I wanna show you is this here that they sent me. Uh, it's just a cool little compartment that you can put under that front seat, uh, store whatever you wanna store in it. Um, it's actually Velcro to open, as you can see. It's a nice amount of storage. Um, and I have it there for my son to use if he'd like to, or maybe we'll use it for our camping stuff. But this is like kind of like a belt material on the top. I'm not really sure why it's there, but it's a cool look. This here is a doggy car seat. Use the code below to get yourself one 15% off. I highly recommend this and I've been using it for many, many years. I just got this new one though to match the interior of my Tesla. What I love about it for the small dog is it boosts them up so they can actually see out the window. It reduces anxiety and it's also a really safe way to travel with your dog because it has a latch that you can put on their harness so they can't jump out, move around the car and things. And if you were to get in an accident, they're not really gonna go anywhere. So you may or may not have seen the video where I put this right here in or on. I really highly recommend these of any kind because underneath I actually started to scratch it up some without it. Now it's not a 100% match to this wood but it's pretty close um, and I actually like it but I had another company send me another one that matches this look. So I'm actually going to take this off and put the other one on um, and show you what it looks like and what I think. So it's basically like a sticker and it removes easily and it left no damage, okay? Now this one kind of went under, so I'm going to have to kind of grab, there we go. All right, now I'll show you the damage that was happening if my camera will pick up on it. But there's just these little scratches in there that I know will get worse if you don't have something over it. So again, no matter what the cover looks like, get yourself one. really easy to put on. Let me show it to you up close. It's kind of fuzzy like a little teddy bear. That's such a weird explanation but it's like suede and whichever way you brush your hand across it it changes the look of it. So it's not a really good match for the car but it's kind of cool. So as you can see you brush it one way You've got this look, and then you brush it the other way, you know, see, you move your finger around. So, 
I think the intention was for it to match this here, and it does not, as you can see on the actual camera. This is very black charcoal, and this to me has like almost a purple hue to it, so it doesn't match really any of these colors here. Um, but uh, it's, you know, it's nice. It's all right. Whatever. I mean, I just like kind of the feel of it over anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, it covers it and will protect it, so that's great. It actually has like the same tone as my leggings. <laughs> So it matches that. I would say that if this console cover was more black than the gray, it would be much nicer um, and be more like matchy matchy. So let me put the um, black cup holder thing in and show you what that looks like. That actually brings it together a little bit more. I like that. So there it is. You know. Kind of brings the colors together more with that insert. All right, something I'm noticing here is every time I erase my dash cam, this still kind of shows up, okay, that it's getting full. So I need to get myself a bigger USB drive, um, and I'm going to look into that and share with you what I decide to do, but I'm always having to delete the darn thing, um, and it doesn't work um, if you don't delete it. So this is kind of a annoying thing to me so far that I've found with uh, my Tesla, but I can fix that by getting a bigger drive or flash drive.